But also don't play Earth thinking that Earth is some finite experience and hasn't already tapped into the infinite potential of creating realm upon realm upon realm. They said, behold, when we saw all the realms, it made us swoon. Meaning that, you know how when you look at, like if you're on something high and you have this thing where you're scared of heights and you look down and it makes your stomach feel weird and your legs go weak, that's swooning. So the masters were saying when they got a chance to see how infinite this really was, it made them feel like that because of how vast it is. And this whole idea of scarcity and that it's running out and that we're destroying it. This is a womb is very strong. A woman will let you know that. And it is more than calibrated for the experiences that we're going through. So much so they decided to put two of them in here. So I want to say to everyone, remember your power. Stop letting your forces come into conflict and be used as conflict and getting all fused up. Remember, it's difficult to put the thing back together, especially some people have some racism issues and it's constantly stoked for them by the reality. This is the game they love to play because if they can keep it separate, it, remember, it's not even about who you're seeing externally. It's what's happening in the inside. You're taking that string of memory and DNA and you're disconnecting it. And I'm telling you, as an engineer, we can build the most complex device. And I'm telling you, man, just one little point on the soldering board not being put together. One little fuse missing. You know, the car outside, you know, the car does all this complex stuff. One fuse. I go in the box, I pull one fuse, the whole thing's not working. So I always say, straight and narrow is the way. That's the arbitrator. On one side, there is fire. On the other side, there's deep water. Now do you get it? Rahu, fire, the mind, fire in the mind. Deep water, the womb, the amniotic fluids. Straight and narrow is the way. This means that you can literally be like <laughs> on that, that balance and be able to benefit from the steam <laughs> of two rather powerful forces that were all, they're always going to exist. They already drunk the Amarita. So this thing's going to, it's going to keep going and, and you could keep going with it. But knowing how to navigate yourself, to have that four and that seven as your rudder in life. So again, this is taking it out of the scope that we're just talking about a number four and a number seven and bringing it into the scope that we're talking about the power that regulates your polarities. And this is how you're able to be able to continuously lock the keys to yourself. So everybody 